This is an update on my adjustable keyboard joystick. Um, I finished making it adjustable, so now the joystick is on a rail system. So there's uh, rails on the case for where you put your hand, and there is also rails on the actual mount for the joystick so that you can go in and out and also rotate it into any position. And uh, the only thing left that I have to do is um, I'm making this case a little bit taller because right now the joystick is rubbing a tiny bit so it doesn't feel completely smooth. So I'm going to fix this where it's a little bit taller. And then after that, the only thing that I have to do is um, I already made the door for here, but I want it to have, um, I want the cord to be able to plug in and out. So if you wanted to not have to move like your, like if you wanted to charge your phone or if you wanted to use that cable with something else and you weren't using your cable, you just unplug it and plug it into whatever you wanted to. So after I'm done fixing my the case for the joystick, I'm going to make it so that there's a compartment that holds the Arduino. And I'm going to make it so that there's a hole in the door so that you can just plug in your cable and take it out like normal. And after that, it will be completely finished and ready for sale. So... If I was you guys and I and you actually wanted to buy one of these, I would expect it to be done and ready for sale probably by next weekend. So get, within seven days, I should have this on Etsy and ready to be for sale. And if you guys want it in custom colors or even like different joysticks like a metal aluminum joystick like this one or maybe even um have a ps4 joystick like this or if you just like you know i'm gonna make it customizable and i'm also gonna make it so that um you can get different angles for the stand i for right now it's gonna be like how it is here. It's gonna be angled like like that, and it, it's really comfortable, as you can tell. Whenever I use this, you don't put your you don't put your hands on WASD. What you actually do is you put your pinky on X, so that you can put your third finger on F. And what this allows me to do, whereas like I've seen where other people they have it on Z. And then that way they can press shift and all that. But if you just slide it down one and put it to where your third finger is on the F, you have a really nice feeling for that dot because your third finger goes on the dot or whatever your key keyboard keys have on there, a line, a dot, whatever, shape different. And um, I have more keys because instead of it being down here and then I can press shift control and all that, I have it down here and then I, my pinky can press Z, Alt, Shift, Still, S, A, all those, and then my all these fingers have more buttons I can press too. Basically, it allows you to press more buttons, and it's just more comfortable. Um, so, as you can tell, I got my thumb on. I can move it anywhere I want and press all, basically any button. It's way more comfortable. I've no, the reason that I designed this was... I seen the guy who made the GMK one. I mean, I don't know how big or small or what his hands are, but I've watched him use that thing and it looks so fucking uncomfortable. He's got his thumb like all the way out here. I, like it looks uncomfortable as shit. I've ne it just does not look ergonomic at all. So I redesigned my own and coded it and everything so that you guys could buy a joystick for your keyboard that is adjustable so that no matter what you could make it comfortable for you so expect this to be for sale next weekend if you have any questions ask me in the comments let me know what you think i hope you guys like this and i hope it does well